Guys, how are you? Yes, continuing the Portland Files. The Portland Files, those of the wishy-washy pink and blue hairstyles, uh, goth tattoos, and uh, yeah, just generally dressed in black. I'm in the land of them, supposedly. I'm having a great time, good people. Um, anyway, uh, I want to talk to you about Apple. Yes, Apple, quick one, uh, our favorite, um, one of our favorite oligarchical corporates that we like to focus on. Not particularly big on paying tax in the UK and that. Uh, I want to show you this image though. I'm going to put it up real close so that you can see it. Apple can't keep the doctor away, it says. And I'm hoping that you can see the chart. Now have a look at the data warning um, of uh, bad expectations in terms of sales. Have a look at that chart. You might see right at the low, right at the low, a previous revenue warning was given. Now, recently Tim Cook uh, gave a revenue warning on top of the coronavirus and, you know, da, 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 uh, we're not getting our parts quick enough, therefore we won't have our devices, therefore we won't be able to sail. It's a great way of hiding any slowdown in consumption. It's all about China, it's all about China, you know, otherwise we'd be awesome. Um, externalize the issues, you know, it's put, put it on put a week period, it's very convenient on, um, you know, it, it was them that didn't bring the gear. We could have sold it. The guys all want our stuff. Yeah, they're queuing up out the building. Um, anyway, so previous revenue warning. If you have a look at that chart one more time, you will see that in the previous revenue warning, the market actually for Apple tanked really, really hard. Um, it went, it's forward earnings um, tanked from roughly 17 and a half to just 10 and a half uh, really hard uh, in 19 as it did its last warning uh, and the warning came out right at the low so the notion of that warning coming out right at the low um, is that a whole bunch of people were selling the stock well in advance of that warning. It must have been one of the best and most clearly expected warnings ever to have been made. So your forward PE drops from 17 and a half to roughly 10.75 um, and you give the warning at literally at the bottom. Uh, and then you see a massive whiplash increase. Again, I show you the chart, massive whiplash increase in that forward earning to where we're now sitting north of 22 north of 22. In other words, the warning is actually the buy signal. It's so well signaled, so well baked into, you may remember I've also highlighted Zero Hedge articles about how heavily invested the Israelis were um, in Apple, how they were being tipped off and put into it. So it's very strongly held by um, a certain particular nation. Um, and these guys seem well informed, man. They get the hell out of Dodge before the warning comes. I wonder if there's any insider trading. I wonder if there's any nods or winks that sees that PE collapse from 17 and a half to 10 and a half before eventually it goes up. Who knows? Who'd have thunk it? Surely I'm not thinking something unthinkable, accusing of misdeeds. Um, no one goes to prison on these events, by the way. Um, having done uh, a little bit of an exclusive with you on Mike Milken. If you haven't seen that one, go and have a look. And then, Japan's third sales tax blunder. This article, really interesting one. Japan's third sales tax blunder. And I also want you to see the green columns at the bottom. I'm going to refer to that. Japan is actually the lowest there. And what are we looking at? We're talking about general government net interest spending. You know, everyone always tells you how indebted Japan is. General government net interest spending as a percentage of its GDP at 0.3. Italy at 3.6% as a percentage of its GDP that it has to spend on paying interest on debt. 3.4 America, second from top. With one of the lowest interest rates, you're paying 3.4% of your total GDP on interest. Everyone tells you how indebted Japan is, but their own populace holds the debt. I've always said this. That's why the yen will overperform the dollar, even in the fear and loathing panic periods. Why? Uh, UK, 2.4. France, 1.6. Canada, 1.6. Germany, 0.8. 
quite low for Germany, it has to be said, respectfully low. Japan, 0.3% of GDP on net interest payments. So, when you talk about debt, you've got to look at affordability. Who's more uh, capable of affording their debt uh, as a percentage? How much is it taking of, uh, as a percentage of your gross GDP? Well, you've got the US at one of the highest, just under Italy and 3.4% of the US GDP is a different scale of number to 3.6% of uh, Italy's GDP. Um, so you've got to ask yourself, uh, when you're thinking of that USD JPY trade that we keep uh, talking about, yes, there can be a dollar milkshake theory element that's going to come with dollar being supported, but why, if you have to be in a fiat, my assessment is that the yen will be uh, one of the safest places to be. By the way, that article about sales taxes, they raised the sales taxes three times. They've raised the sales taxes three times, and every time they get a massive reduction in consumption expenditure, and they shrink their GDP. How's that for idiocy in Japan? Third time they increased it. They increased it to the country sales tax rose from 8 to 10% in October. Spending tanked and household consumption fell 11.5%. The Japanese don't spend stupidly. This is a nation of savers, unlike the consumption indebted US and other Western markets, but the US is one of the worst, uh, and Europeans don't tend to buy on credit. German culture, it's poor form to buy on credit, but the Japanese are the best. Unfortunately for the Europeans, the Euro is a fatally flawed um, political solution, not a serious economic one. Um, so then there's no currency of choice to hold. But that gives you an idea. These guys say, you put jack the tax up, man. We ain't spending. We already don't spend much. And you go down disproportionately more. And you kill your GDP. They will postpone expenditure till kingdom come. This is a nation of savers. If you want to hold a fiat in this collapsing environment, and you must check out our USD JPY assessment technically, uh, join our community. We, we refer to it regularly. Um, if you're interested in this, of the fiats, I expect the yen to do best when we have our dollar milkshake uh, event out of all of them. Um, and I warn you also of our Asian FX uh, crisis uh, warning as well. And then you can think about Apple and those warnings and who gets a head up, heads up prior to all of these events so that the stock can absolutely sell off and be at its lowest earnings rate by the time the warnings come in. And the minute the warning's out, the buyers are back in. That is contrarian investing, if ever I've heard it. Maybe it's just very well informed. Okay, bye for now, guys. Catch you later.